Dear students, welcome to your process control laboratory. Like other labs, in this laboratory we will conduct 10 experiments. Before going to conduct the first experiment, let me explain you about the setup. This one is your interacting and non-interacting system. Interacting and non-interacting system. And this is the graphical representation of this setup. <coughs> By the help of this setup, we can conduct 10 experiments. The first experiment is your single capacity tank. Okay. Here you can see the three tanks are available. Tank number one, tank number two, tank number three. In between three tanks, you can see also the valves. Valve number one, valve number two, valve number Two and ball number three is the here. Okay, you can see the ball number and also a rotary meter is connected here. And the range is from zero to hundred liter per hour. It can be operated in interacting and non-interacting mode. So, what is interacting mode and non-interacting mode? When there is no contact between these two tanks then the system is in interacting non-interacting mode that means only the contact between one and two tank uh, uh, that means the valve will remain in the closed position that is your non-interacting mode okay when we will open this valve uh, these two will be related with each other then that, that is in your interacting mode so first <coughs> experiment is here to find the, the test presence of a single capacity tank that means we will consider about the the single tank only or we will not consider so how we can conduct this experiment for the single capacity tank so a reservoir is there that means at the bottom of your setup there is a reservoir where water is, is stored when we will on the pump water will come to the upper tank at a certain flow rate and you have to adjust the flow rate of the water according to the requirement you can say 50 60 70 80 okay after that what will happen water will come to the upper tank and the level of the water will increase okay at the same time we have to keep in your minds that the resistance this is known as a resistance the opening and closing this is 100% open uh, and 100% uh, close this is 100% close you have to hmm, keep it partially open okay similarly the this valve also partially open okay or fully open there is no problem for the first experiment like this <clears throat> Another thing you have to mark that this valve should be in completely closed position. So as water will come to the upper tank, the level of the water will increase at a certain time. Uh, the water will remain, and the height of the water inside the tank will remain constant. So you have to note down the steady state height of the first tank. After that, what you have to do? Then you have to the, after achieving the steady state and uh, then you have to change the flow rate of the water at a rate of 10 liter per hour by rotating this <coughs> valve okay suddenly you have to take the height of the water inside the tank with respect to time so as the flow rate changed the level of the water will increase okay from the steady state height till it reaches to steady state after achieving the steady state you have to take the final height, steady state height level. Then you have to go for calculation to find the H of T observed and H of T predicted as suggested in the manual. So let's see the how the experiment can be conducted. Now you can see I have started the pump. Okay. And the flow rate of the water inside you can see the rotor meter the flow rate. That is a 70. Now I have to adjust it to two. according to the requirement. Now I have set it at 50. You can see the flow rate is at 50. Okay. 
So similarly, the level of the water inside the drain increases. Now it is at 40. Okay, and then so let's wait for achieving the steady state uh, level of the water inside the tank. The flow rate of the water should remain constant throughout the experiments till it reaches to steady state. So let's wait for HV in the steady state height. Now you can see easily observed uh, the water level increases. We have to wait uh, till it reaches to steady state. I will show you the initial steady state height of the water inside the tank. So after few, few minutes you can see the level out of the water increases. When I was uh, uh, showing you at that time the water level was at 40. Now uh, it is almost steady. Means the, there is a uh, not significant range of water level inside the tanks. Uh, still you have to uh, wait for, for, for some time uh, <coughs> because it is bit increasing the level of the water. Uh, so after achieving the steady state height, you have to take the height of the tank, uh, height of the water inside the tank in each 15 minute time interval till it reaches to steady state because the flow rate will be changed after the achieving the steady state. So let wait for let's wait for for a minute uh, to achieve the steady state. See here the level of the water remain constant here that is 56 that is 56 you can see that is 56 okay now i will change the flow rate of water as i will change the flow rate then we have to take the height of the water inside the tank with respect to time now we will change the flow rate it is at 50 now i have changed it to 60 Okay, you can see the water level increases with the time I will take the height. Now this is 62. Now this is two, four, six, uh, 66 70 In each 15 minute time to interval you have to take the observation till it reaches to steady state Seventy two, now seventy three. Seventy six, seventy eight.
29. You have to continue like this till it reaches to steady state. So we will wait for achieving the final steady state height. All the readings are not possible to so give you. So I will show you the final steady state height. After few minutes, the steady state have achieved. The for this is known as the final steady state height. You can read it here. That is your 82. That is your 82. That is in mm. Okay, the height is in mm. Okay, then you could able to calculate the h of t observed and h of t predicted as you are according to the instruction as you have suggested. So this is all about the single capacity tank.